This is a scammer's computer, and this is me accessing it. And this is me completely destroying all their files. Let me start by saying this is a scam call center. That the day before, I stopped a crypto transfer. The USD amount, $4,753.07. Oh, there's our money. Oh, there's your money. Woo! They had a victim open up crypto accounts, transfer money, and then change all their passwords. So I decided as a little payback, I would connect to their system and wreak havoc. I know that you know Abunov. I know that you know Silky. You do not have anyone by that thing. Yes, I want you to tell me the truth now. You wrote down uh, Bernadine's uh, credit card information. Well, I'm gonna call Bernadine up and make sure that she doesn't get scammed. I know where you guys are. I'd be pretty scared too. Let's jump into the call and watch hundreds of thousands of files disappear. Thank you for contacting support. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, uh, you guys called me at 1023 and 1024. All right, sir. The reason we contacted you earlier to notify you, there is some suspicious activity on your Amazon account. Okay. We found there is a purchase being done from Sony Bravia TV for $999. Mm, uh, so we just need to make sure that are you the one who authorized that purchase? No. All right, sir. We're going to have to send you a cancellation form. What was your and name, sir? I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Please tell me, how can I help you? Yeah, I was on with a gentleman. We just got had just gotten dis disconnected. I just, all I did was ask what his name was. He was telling me about a Sony Bravia, but this is Pierogi. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I remember you. Now, uh, I believe that you already have uh, that any desk on your phone, right? Oh, no, I have any decks on my computer. Uh, on your computer, alrighty, and please help me with the 90 numbers, which you can see over there, and there is the, uh, your address. It says Amazon server waiting for accept. You hit accept on your side? Mm -hmm. Alright, you need to hit on allow or accept, then you need to do one thing, you need to minimize everything, whatever, open on your desktop, just minimize everything, and then open your Amazon account. Okay. Alright, what do I need to... Open your uh, Amazon. Open my Amazon? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't see any of this stuff, though, can you? No, we can't. Okay, because I'm just trying to... I'm trying to make sure, you know. Can we go ahead and help you out with the thing? All righty. Let me go ahead and let me help you the same. All righty. Now, please tell me once you'll be done logging into your account so that we can go ahead and uh, we can proceed further. All right. Well, what, do I, what do I need to click on, though? That's what I'm saying. First of all, like the way I told you that we need to go ahead, we need to verify your identity. Okay. okay. Now, over here, just tell me once you'll be done logging into your account so that I can go ahead and I can uh, help you to proceed further with the uh, following procedure. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Now you can see that on your uh, Bank of America on the top there will be some options coming up like accounts, yeah. bill paid, transfer, Zelle, rewards and deeds, Correct. tools and investing. You Correct. need to hit on the one which says Zelle, that's Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, where it says, uh, you can see where it says recipient type, hit on individual. You can't, okay. Now after that it must be saying first name, last name, so in the first name you need to type J as in Juliet. Okay, J as in Juliet. Okay. Now you can see where it says from to. Now in front of two, there will be a small arrow pointing downward. You need to hit on that. Okay. Um, then you need to, where it says two, go to the two. All right. In the two, <coughs> you need to select the same name. Account which you billing. Just saved. No, 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 no. All right. Then hit on the amount, where it says amount, tap on amount. Okay. I have a question. Is, is Uday in? Uday? Yeah. No. What about Ashwin? Or Abunav. Sure, I told you that there are more than 1,500 employees working over here. So it won't be easier for me okay. to go ahead and to locate the exact person who you are okay. looking for because there are many persons who share the same name as well. Okay. All right. What's happening to the icons on your computer at the bottom? What's happening? I'm sorry? What's happening to I'm the sorry. bottom of your computer? What's happening to the bottom of my computer? On the toolbar where it says 17 degrees Celsius and cloudy and 116 AM. What happened? Wait. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait. It, why did you disconnect? And who, who is Judy? I've got the information on uh, the Bitcoin payments and stuff that you've sent through people. 
Who's Gui? Who's Gui Lee? Uh, uh, what are all these transfers that you're doing? Uh, you've been taking pictures of people's accounts and doing transfers on Chime. No, we are not. Yeah, and I also yeah, see. No I also see your phone calls, Alan. I see them, and I, I I know that you know Abunov. I know that you know Silky. I want to talk to them. We do not have anyone by that time. Yes, I want you to tell me the truth now, and I and I know that you're in West Bengal. I know it's seventy degrees. I know it's one eighteen a.m. for you right now. Start telling the truth. Mut kana bankaro. I know you can understand me. Mut kana bankaro. Apne basse bakaro. I know you understand me right now. I have your calls. You have you wrote down a note. It says. Uh, you cussing out the person that they were blasting. You called someone named Benjamin Barbara. You've got uh, all these phone numbers. I'm going to call all of the victims up that you've been calling and bothering. I have all the information you wrote. You wrote down uh, Bernadine's uh, credit card information. <clears throat> well, I'm going to call Bernadine up and make sure that she doesn't get scammed. You've got some hangups today. You've got some voicemail issues. You have another voicemail. Uh, you have Alan that you talked to hung up uh, on a scammer. I don't know what that means. Uh, another hang up, another hang up, and no voice. And then you found me. And I know who you are. Your computer's fried. I know where you guys are. We already, by the way, saved a victim that you guys were trying to send money through. And I still need to talk to, I don't know if it's Abunav or if it's Silky, I need to have a conversation with. I know that you shut the computer down because you're very scared now. So your uh, phone system isn't working. This is what they did yesterday because it's the same call center, I'm pretty sure destroyed uh, i'm going to figure out with this data i'm going to figure out all the pieces here we got a lot of information to go through here i'd be pretty scared too they shut everything off immediately once i started going off on them they shut it off so the, the, the call is just done i'd say that was quite exciting i'm going to call them back just to prove that this number is dead the text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available so this is their attendance sheet if we go down to the bottom from the 30th yesterday, uh, you have Abunav, Ashwin, Uday, and Silky. And these are the, uh, these are the four scammers. And there's a lot of these where they get prank calls, prank calls, prank calls, hangups. But they, they, they're pretty good. They're hanging all their numbers in here. There's one page I can't show that has a lot of information. But it showed on there they had ESPN scams. So there's an ESPN there's PayPal, there's Amazon, and what they're doing is they're paying when people are searching for support, they're paying for uh, these to be at the top of like SEO and people search for certain things. It's crazy. This is like the new version of like a refund scam, in my opinion, new version of a tech scam. New, It's like a blend of both of them because these people are being told that they've been hacked and they're like, I've been hacked. They're like, yeah, well, we have to send this dummy payment of $5,000 and then it's going to be refunded to you. And then it just never gets refunded. And then they try to do more and do more with you. So it's, it's crazy. So shame on Google, I guess, for that. After going through a bunch of the scammers files, I ran across an Excel file that I hadn't seen before and it had some really good information. So let's go through it. As you can see, this is a 2021 spreadsheet for the scammer group here. It's broken down by month as well as week. And it shows all the uh, customers that they call customers, but they're really victims and all of their sales, which we really call it the money that they stole from the victims. So you can see the average amount is around $500, but even in uh, week three of 2021, they stole $2,500 from one victim through Zelle. You can see here as well, they were running to Zelle as quickly as possible to steal from people, but they're not afraid to use things like Google Play, eBay, uh, Walmart gift cards, uh, Target gift cards. So this is a big list that's broken down. And if you went through all the numbers, they were probably making easily over six figures per year. I'm going to call this other. Oh, they got her freaking email address. Are you kidding me? Gosh, dang it. They, they probably changed her password. I just wanted to call you really quickly because I think a couple weeks ago you were talking to internet scammers that were pretending to be either like Amazon or PayPal. Um, right. I just want to make sure you didn't lose any money or get scammed or anything. Yeah, we did. Well, I did. Yeah. $100. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, they, they have your username and password for your email, by the way. Yep. I changed everything. Okay. And your Discover, they, they have like a Discover number written down. That's, that's <laughs> all changed. Okay. Okay. Did Discover give so. you your money back at all? No, not yet. Okay. So, Would you be open to um, me giving you the $100 that you were scammed out of? 
Would you be open to that? Uh, no, I'm I'm all set. I I like I said, I'm working with Amazon and Discover. So yes, okay, thank you. Have a blessed day. You too. Bye. Bye. This is definitely the same format. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, this is Pierogi. Um, I was just on uh, an, a, another scammer system, and they had your text now on there. And I was just going to call and let you know that because they have your information on their computer. I'm just calling down the victim list. I wanted to make sure you didn't get scammed. Hmm. Are you familiar with those types of scams? No, I know. Okay, because they they have your information on their on their customer list, and they're out of they're out of Kolkata. A lot of them are working out of like the the Godridge Genesis building in in Kolkata, India. And what they'll do is they'll connect your computer, and then they will um, they'll try to do like a Zelle transfer, or I've even seen Bitcoin. We actually were able to uh, reverse an Ethereum transfer uh, yesterday, which was pretty exciting. But I just uh, you 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 haven't heard of those scams before. Ethereum is still on market. Well, I thought it's um, gone. Oh, my, um, mine Samja. Mine Samja. Nine, nine, seven, seven, seven. Oh, Daniel. Hey, I do want to let. Hey, uh, can I? Can I maybe talk to your boss? Apne boss se baat karo. Wo ganda rane gaya. Can I please talk to your boss? That's all I want to talk to your boss. Come on, Daniel. Jaldi karo. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I was a scammer. His text now, his text now was on uh, this scammer's information. It said some agent text now. Uh, I'll call him back. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Uh, hey, sir, this is Pierogi with Scammer Payback again. Uh, I didn't get your name, but again, your text now number was on the scammer's list of customers. I understand that you were speaking some Hindi. I appreciate. Uh, while the, the sentiment behind speaking Hindi with me is very appreciative, I don't appreciate you uh, calling me certain uh, derogatory curse words. Again, if next time you could tamise batkaro, that would be very nice. Please talk to me with respect. I was just trying to help you out. Again, call me back as soon as possible. Or you can play this for everyone in, in uh, the office today. You can play this for them. Just, I really just want to help you guys out. Make sure you do not get scammed. I just want to help you, you guys out. <laughs> The dopamine rush is strong in here. Thank you, Cabins. I appreciate it. Hello. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I'm calling on behalf of my, my grandson. His name is Pierogi. And I was trying to help you out. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, got my voicemail, but I was trying to leave a voicemail about um, not being scammed because you guys are on a list. I don't know why that's funny to me. Anybody in the office? Brandon, quiet. Cena, quiet. Any, anybody? Does anyone watch the streams in here? Does anyone watch the streams? In the scammer payback freaking offices. I'm trying to give you content, Brandon. Okay, I got a thumbs up from Brandon. All right. I'm trying to give you content to work with. These guys panicked when they realized their icons and files were disappearing before their eyes. To commemorate this file deletion video, we are going to be re-releasing the OG delete their files caps. If you want to know the joke behind these hats, please make sure to check us out in a live stream sometime. This has been Scammer Payback telling you, don't get scared.